and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Orzov control in standard, no blue. We're still playing control, just black white control. Uh, we're going to be uh, using Kaya Orzov Usurper and Ashiok Dream Render, kind of using the combination of these two cards for to finish games out, unless we finish out games with our six mana. Uh, planeswalkers but of course ashiok can um mill over a bunch of cards from our opponent's library exile them exile their graveyard as well and then if we go kaya minus five if they have 20 cards in exile we can kill them with that but the reason why i wanted to play just orzov is because basically because of two cards i really like to spark i think to spark is just in an awesome spot in this metagame um you know between wicked wolf night pack ambusher nissa who shakes the world and then Fires of Invention and all of the Cavaliers and Kenrith that go along with that deck. I just love Dispark. I think it's a, it's an awesome card. So I wanted to play that, and I wanted to play... Basically, I wanted to play Kaya against the um, the Witches of it and Cauldron Familiar decks. And so I kind of wanted to put those, those together in a control deck. I didn't really want to play blue. I didn't really want to have our mana too bad. I wanted to have good mana. We're playing a lot of Castle Art and Veils, as you can see. We're going to make some some one ones to block. Uh, I really like Mortify, also destroying uh, Trail of Crumbs. So yeah, we're just just going to be going with just the two colors here with our control deck. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're we're going to be playing some Discovery where we don't get to ever cast Dispersal, but just Surveil to draw a card. When since we're just black white without blue. <sighs> Sorry, I need some water. I think that uh, that'll do. So we'll be trying that out. Um, Murder's Rider, Legion's End, you know, just good removal. Kind of having Bell Haunt is like my my uh, mid range kind of card that plays some defense, can make them discard. I thought about playing like Seraph for the Scales or Kenrith, even even if like Kenrith, all we're doing is just like the gain five life, but that that can. Uh, be a really beneficial thing to have against a lot of people but i think we're just going to go with some bell haunts i think that's that's kind of where i ended up uh even like doom whisperer is a pretty good blocker also cyborg we have a lot more good removal um another kaya another ashiok a thought distortion for control decks i may want another thought distortion but we got good stuff against aggro also yeah, I think our deck is, is going to be pretty good. Hopefully it is, at least. Yep, this is best of three. Let's give it a try. Let's get right to it, because... <clears throat> uh, we've played some longer longer uh, leagues. You know, these controlled, control is, uh, took a while. The Orzov control... Or, sorry, the, the Chulane Lane Adventure took around two hours for those four matches. So we're only going to have time for four matches here. Usually I'd be ending the stream in about 50 minutes, but we're going to have to go. We're going to have a little bit of overtime. And that's okay. For sure, we'll keep. So Dispark can still hit Ember Cleave. So they have the three one flash creature. Still just cast this. Mm. <clears throat> that acclaimed contender looking good. I would not mind drawing white mana. We have a lot of white sources in the deck. Um, we've drawn four of our eight lands that are not that are not white. Yep, 
yeah, we have 18 white sources. So that's why I was, I was pretty confident in drawing white mana when there's 18. No white mana for us, but I like our chances here post-board. I mean, I liked our chances there game one also, but no white mana. I could have mulliganed. Do I want to play Planar Cleansing? Because we have, we have like 12 things that get white or black, and then we had six basics. So we had a lot of white mana in here. I don't think I need planar cleansing. This, this is probably going to be good. <laughs> yeah, change to mono black control. Hey, Callie. Uh, if you had, yeah, if, if, it, if it lagged there for you... Um, hopefully that was just a lag for just a second. Um, but anytime, if it does that, just just refresh. It does that sometimes with the upload. Like how I was uploading the last league. Usually like when it gets done to the very end of the upload. It'll lag some. Speaking of that, I have to finish up one last thing. Hey, Velvet. Uh, thank you so much. Happy holidays. We're just not going to find white mana again. <laughs> Put a couple of the sparks over in the graveyard. I didn't say fair. You're not welcome. Hm. I'm gonna make myself scarce. Yeah, the Kai's Wrath will feel really satisfying if we ever get to play it. But the deck has not really liked me here. We're at twenty we're a twenty-six land deck, eighteen white sources. We've gone 
We've gone through eight more cards than our opener. But not forever. Unreal. We start with the white source in our hand, so still haven't seen a white source. Nine cards down. We're not dead. Which is very sad. Obviously, they could have a lot of things to kill us. Now we're dead. Man. We have 18 white sources. That's so many white sources. We didn't see a single one of our 12 dual lands. I guess we did. We did with the... Did we? Yeah, we did with the Fable Passage, which we had to Fable Passage for a small. Man, that's a match I would love to play over and over and over again. I wish we could get paired against that all day. That's... I mean, I think that's our best matchup. <laughs> I really do. But even your best matchups, you don't win 100% of the time. I mean, how is this hand winning? Yeah, this has been kind of very disappointing league so far. Very disappointing. Oh, my opponent kept a one-lander. This matchup is not nearly as good as the last one. This matchup is about going very big. This is this is not what control decks usually like to see. I guess. All right. Well, this isn't just Simic, so they're Sultai. Wonder what we got going on for Sultai. I guess we found out why they kept that one lander. My 
Please don't play Nissa. The best budget rotation proof deck to invest in right now. Um, probably something with adventures. Um, yeah, rotation doesn't happen for, for, you know, until next October. So, like, you don't really have to worry about rotation proof right now because, you know, it's that's like 10 months away until we have rotation. So, you know, you, you want to pick something that you're going to enjoy playing. We do have a new set coming. <laughs> in about 20 days or so and so standards going to change a whole lot in about 20 days worst wasser brand new twitch prime sub thank you so much for that support this is definitely a planar cleansing matchup noxious grasp good legions end not as good Don't think this is a very good Belhan matchup. And I'm not sure about Ashiok. No Kaya. I think I'm going to go all, all Ashiok, because they ha they can have, like, I guess that we didn't see all of their deck, but I'm assuming they're a Cavalier of Thorns deck. If they're a Cavalier of Thorns deck, they can have a lot of card advantage and really dig through their deck, and Ashiok attacking their library could pose a problem for them. Finale of Promise as a win condition. That's the red card. I think it's a good card. Um, obviously, it's very weak to three mana to fairy, so that's just something you have to build around. Have to understand. That, that's a discovery that hurts. Putting Grasp to Spark, two of my better cards there, but we just don't have lands. They really don't care about their life total. They're just showing off here going shock, shock, shock. More shocks. Um, I guess it's best to Mortify. Save to Spark. More shocks? Talk about a show off. Yeah, blue eye control is the best control deck. So they're playing Ether Gusts against my black white deck. I don't know, like maybe I'm supposed to just let them draw Nissa.
are all connected. There, there isn't really like a, a budget control deck. It's you just take like a, a regular control deck and just kind of make it more budget, like however, however you desire to. Rise, my elemental friend. But I would recommend going blue white. Your mana base isn't too isn't too painful. That's three of my four to sparks already. Hmm. I will protect the virtue of this world. I, know, I guess I could have just done that. Nature's true power. Four. So that's that's all four Nissas. Yeah, so that's all four Nissas. <clears throat> so I don't have to be too worried about that now. Mm. I was hoping they were just gonna have like those two creatures and I was gonna be able to Liliana minus. That's what I was hoping. That's why I said this is a tough matchup for us. Just, they just never run out of cards with Krasis and Risen Reef. They never run out of cards, but obviously having all four Nissas made our life more difficult. Do not defy the desire. Ether itself serves me. That card's not scary. That card's not scary. They're just team, always pay. Ugh, none of those cards are scary either. Their team always shock. We're team Ashiok. Their team always shock. There's a difference. We got 23 cards in library, 23 cards in exile. That's pretty cool.
That is not cool. Crack it. Crack it. Darn. Ugh. That was another wonderful eight cards for them to draw. Another four, no, another four wonderful cards for them to draw. Actually, you're not supposed to get rid of their lands and let them draw gas. Yeah, good crack. Good fetch, good fetch. All right. Just have to kill the Nissas. We're one and one. Good showing there. That was an impressive showing. Feel bad about that match we lost. To that terrible mana. I feel like we could be 2-0 right now. And that would have been cool. Our deck does kind of look like we don't have eight dual lands, I was going to say, but then we just drew a dual land. Mm. Yeah, Mortify. That's the card I want. The highest number? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right, Paul. I think it was like 13 or so something. I don't... Or no. I was in single digits one time. Like right after Throne of Eldraine. Like a 12-hour stream that we did that we had a couple 5-0s at the end. I think I was like seven or eight. It was like with the, um, with like Abzan Hero and Golgari Troll, like back to back. Midnight Reaper is quite annoying. It's under to spark. Right now, I want like an Inothakaya, Murderous Rider, something to kill the Midnight Reaper before I play like a Wrath. Can also just have Liliana tick up and make a 2 2.
Hey Chung. Thanks for resubbing there for four awesome months. Our 26th sub of the day, four away from another sub goal. And we're two sub goals away from a 12 hour stream. This will be child's play. No surprise they're holding Murderous Rider. Better they just, you know, have these extra cards it. they're not really doing very much with. <clears throat> no surprise they had Murderous Rider. But, uh, don't mind Kaya getting her to vote in Oven and then getting removed before, like, a Liliana. Wouldn't be surprised if another one. Not too surprised Rise there at all. Shine. All these cards cost three. <laughs> Why can't they cost four? So I want the Liliana in play before my creatures start dying. Kaya's Wrath. Oh yeah, Pro Postal Service is a great band. Hey Ron Burgundy, Merry Christmas. That's no way to treat a lady. Spark has not looked good in this matchup. It's not looked good at all. Do not ruin what my would look good would be Akaya's Wrath. Akaya's Wrath would look great.
<laughs> there you go, hillbilly. Yeah. We got sub battle, the sub battle stream on Saturday. So that how uncivilized. Still no Kaya's Wrath. We're 26 cards through the deck. Obviously, just get, we need to get rid of these Gilded Goose so they don't have ways to keep generating food for the Trailer Crumbs. Like, we, we gotta get rid of those. Ron Burgundy, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's very kind. And I do not have any good plans right now. Besides dying to trailer crumbs. Because of the double goose. If only to spark was a real card. Looks like we're boarding those out. Oh, do you mean do you mean Hawkeye? Hawkeye is oh, he's he's sitting right back here, you can't quite see him. He's sitting there staring at me. Yeah, as soon as I take out the Disparks, they're going to have Wicked Wolves and Corvolds. Damage is done. We needed Akaya's Wrath millions of turns ago. We cannot compete there anymore. Oh gosh, a Legion's End? We have those? Yeah, Legion's End would have been awesome. That's a way to get rid of Gilded Goose. Because you may have think that may have thought the Mayhem Devil killed us, but that's not. Not the case, is the Gilded Goose. I'm not sure if I want these Ashioks, honestly. I don't know. What do y'all think about Ashiok? Three. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Rod. <laughs> to update 20 the first time. Oops. Well, thanks. Thanks for still sticking with it and donating another ten dollars. Very nice. No, Ashiok does not stop Trailer Crumbs. No, basically it just starts thinning their deck because they they go through so much of their deck that we can try to thin thin that out. And you know we can get rid of some Cauldron Familiars if they don't have the food to bring Cauldron Familiar back. Um. 
It's something that could happen. Let's go with this. I think I like Bell Hunt too. I was kind of looking at Bell Hunt. I think I like Bell Hunt. Ashok's too slow. I mean, we'll, we have to find a way to win eventually, right? Um, I think we're putting Ashiok back here, though. Ashiok's like our after we when we stabilize, we need to end the game kind of fast. That's that's what Ashiok is. Ashiok doesn't help us stabilize though. No, we finally found Akaya's wrath, and our opponent doesn't care. Down goes Ugin. This is a regular land. I would just this is like a swamp. I put it in the graveyard. Yeah, that's still pretty slow for like this early in the game. I want to find Mortify and Kaya Orzov Usurper. That's the stuff I want to find. Still good. Hey, Aaron. Reseven, 13 awesome months. This is what I needed last game, was Kai's Wrath Legion's End. This game, I need a regular Kaya. Get rid of this Witch's Oven and obviously Mortify. It's the thing, it's like if you don't, if you can't kill Trail of Crumbs right away, if they have this engine going, you just lose. And that's what they have, they have the engine going, so we just lose. It's just too many cards. That's if you're a control deck. If you are, if you're not a control deck, you can pressure them and try to be like attacking a bunch and not give them enough time. But when you're a control deck like this, like, we just lose. Oh, I don't know why I didn't crack that Fable Passage. Probably should have done that. Yeah, we do have a Planar Cleansing in here. We need it. We would need another land for that. Oh, really? Immolation Shaman doesn't work on the, the Cauldron Familiar in the yard? I don't know why they sacrificed that on their turn. That's a whole lot of cards over there.
I should, I mean, obviously I should attack for two here first. Sorry, I was kind of looking at their hand and trying to think of how I'm possibly going to beat these cards. I don't think there's any way I can beat these cards. I mean, it starts with drawing planar cleansing. my only hope right now. Planar cleansing. I don't I don't think we really need Leyline of the Void. I mean, I should have mulliganed my hand, I guess, but they they did have duress. But we need to move on before it takes forever. Because I didn't, like... <clears throat> two super important cards for me are Kaya and Mortify. You know, I need Mortify to kill the Trail of Crumbs, and I need Kaya to destroy, to exile Witch's Oven. I didn't have either one. We never drew one. All right, we're going to try the, the keep all black mana again. We have not had a good variance in this. League, that's for sure. You know, between that one match with the the lands, that that other one where we went halfway through our deck and couldn't find. Couldn't find Kai's Wrath. We'll see if I end up regretting getting rid of that no that uh, Goblet Shrine. All right, one Trailer Crumb's gone. <clears throat> That's good. Trailer Crumb's is the best card. Awesome, Odinson. Good job. That's, that sounds like that was a battle. You fought through it. Good job. <clears throat> Looks like I'm instantly getting punished for putting the Godless Shrine over here. Drew, double white, double white. <clears throat> instantly getting punished over there. White mana, please. I want to start playing these bell haunts. Hey, Hawkeye. <laughs> Needs food. All right, all right. All right, we're not going to regret it this time. We're going to hit our hit our land drops. Okay. 
Trailer crumbs. That was not a card I wanted to see. Yeah, it makes sense to discard a Mayhem Devil. Makes sense. Um, you know, it just it does a little bit of damage, but when you're not playing against creatures, it's that's not as as valuable. You want things that can get you a lot of cards, or be more difficult for a control deck to deal with. And that's not really Mayhem Devil. Yeah, Unward Ego could could be good to for this. I mean, it's it depends if you can handle the rest. I mean, the card the card to name with Unward Ego is um, is Trailer Crumbs. If you're playing some Unward Ego deck, like that's the card that you're going to be losing to. It's just too. It's you know you're you're spending three mana to try to deal with. Um, <clears throat> with some with some really really cheap cards, you know, which which is oven only costs one, trailer crumbs only costs two, called and familiar costs one. It's dicey at best. So to cast Kaya's wrath. Actually, maybe that's a Kaya's wrath turn I just like getting rid of these disparks as we've seen as we've seen it be difficult to to use So yeah, basically, if if you have the the time to just play on Mord Ego and you're not under pressure with all the other stuff that they were already playing with all their one mana and two mana cards, and you can just take a turn off and cast on Mord Ego and get rid of all of them, and then still be able to stabilize after that, then then yeah, it sounds like a great choice. So this hurts. This is going to be killing Liliana here. They're going to be able to do six damage with finding another Mayhem Devil. I need to play more ways to kill Trailer Crumbs. That's what I, that's what we found out here with these two games. I am not playing enough answers to Trailer Crumbs. Back off. Trailer Crumbs just keeps dominating. Uh, all three of these losses. We're all trailer crumbs. Yeah, so that's that's why. Yep, yeah, exactly. That's that's kind of the problem with Demir colors and Grixis colors is you you can't kill trailer crumbs in those colors, and you just you have to be able to kill trailer crumbs. And I'm not playing I'm not playing enough answers. We're gonna have to put in more.
Yeah, mortify. Mortify is my is my answer. I mean, you you can't have disenchant, but. I mean, this game doesn't. This isn't really a game anymore, which is, which is crazy to say, but it's not. Like this double oven cauldron familiar. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if Ikea's wrath. They can just put you know like four cards into their hand next turn. This isn't a game anymore. A Ashiok does nothing here. Could have more planar cleansings, of course, too. Um, I don't know. Bell Hunt didn't look good. I think I need it. I think I need to rest. Okay, you got food. Here. Submit fifty seconds. All right. Here. We have food over here. So hopefully duress can get, you know, an oven or a trail of crumbs. We don't really have anything to do on turn two. I like Chaos Bringer. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, Flippy Flit. I, I eat after after stream. Mm, glad to be here. Your problems are my problem. So because of us having Kaya, I took the Domery. You know, the Domery could minus, put a couple of creatures into their hand, and then it would be kind of a pain to deal with. Or Kaya can clean up these ovens and geese. I 
That is good. Getting Midnight Reaper out of here. Man, that's it. Talk about a card that it's that's been giving me pain, Midnight Reaper. Leyline is an option for the sideboard, but I think it's just too narrow. And I don't really want it. All right, got rid of a second Midnight Reaper. That's good. Your I hope you've said your goodbyes already. So two ovens are exiled, two Cauldron Familiars, one Trail of Crumbs. Good for you. Shuffling me off my mortal coil. Uh, that was not a good Ashiok. No. No, I don't think. No, great Grey Merchant's not gonna be broken. Grey Merchant's good. No, I don't think Grey Merchant's gonna be broken. Well, that's unfortunate. Now I'm going to have to Kaya's or Athaway, my murderous rider. Crack it. Crack it. Yeah. I guess he gets to draw a card. Ooh. Hmm. <clears throat> Kaya's Wrath or Mortify? I think Kaya's Wrath. I think I want to save Mortify for Trail of Crumbs. It's just too important at killing Trail of Crumbs. I'm going to make myself scarce. You. Got rid of a third corbold. Remember your nightmares remain. Leave me be, and you'll escape with your life. Stay on the trail. Dang. Oh wait, we have Legion's End. Duh. <laughs> What am I doing? Pack your bags and hit the road. Double Murderous Rider. That was pretty clutch. That was pretty clutch. A fourth Corvold. So they're going four, full of four Corvolds. Mm. That was a perfect draw, though. That was a perfect draw. Now I can't ultimate my Kaya. Yeah, that's that's the that was my plan. Of course, was Kaya minus five for lethal. For that mayhem devil, you know, like they needed to draw Fable Passage basically, or or of course just Planeswalker removal. They could have drawn that too. I, mean, I guess they could have played the Witch's Oven and then sacked the Mayhem Devil. <laughs> I bet you can't hit me again. 
Dang. So I guess, yeah, they had, they had ways to make sure we didn't ultimate. We were born. Guild business to attend to anyway. We're gonna need more cards to win. You're not scared of dogs, are you? This Garrick's beating me up. <laughs> you call that an attack? I'm gonna make myself scarce. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. Jeez. This Garrick. Fluky Flit, gifting out a sub. We are so close to that 30 goal. You're right, Blind. We are real close to another sub goal. And Trunks, all right, let's go. We're almost there, we only need one more subscriber now. Oh, there it is, track team. Getting it, thank you so much there, Fluky. Thanks, Fluky Flit. So, so that means we're only one sub goal away from a 12 hour stream. So I wonder if they want to ultimate Garrick. They they certainly have the ability to ultimate Garrick if they want. They're down to 17 cards in library to kill me. I don't have another Ashiok to like get rid of more cards. Let's see how sharp my axe is. Waste not, want not. Alright, so. Ooh, attacking Liliana, not even Kaya. Interesting. That's no way to treat a lady. They should still have two cauldron familiars left. Probably one more oven after this. Are building Kaya back up. I'm gone for now, but not forever. <laughs> this looks like a fun new toy. Yeah, a little surprised they never ulted the Garrick. Now they have Trailer Crumbs to get a lot of cards, but they only do have 14 cards left in their library. So even if they get a lot of cards, they have to kill me in the next 14 cards. 
I'm sure they're looking for Cauldron Familiar or Mayhem Devil. I guess that's a great card. So probably going to try to kill Liliana. Ugh. I hope you washed your hands first. <laughs> we're we're almost there. We'll probably get there tomorrow. Because it's we need another whole sub goal to get to the twelve hour stream. So we need so which is ten more subs. Usually I'm better at dodging. Well the Fable Passage was a, was a good card to find also. Because of the devil. Oh no, another Garrick? Well, so much for... Having Murderous Rider for Mayhem Devil. We gotta save Murderous Rider for sure now. I think drawing a card is more valuable than having a 2-3 in, in play. Hmm. We don't really need to do that. All right, so they got 10 cards left. Ouch. This is kind of the good thing of what Ashiok does. Basically, it kind of makes it harder for them to kill me because we got rid of, you know, 20 cards or whatever that was. They're down to nine cards. I still have 40. <laughs> I did, Moxie. We only need to say a 30 out of 40 now. Yeah. Really? You don't play the Mayhem Devil before doing the sacks? Deal two damage each instead of one damage each? Hey, Miyako. All right, they're down to eight.
I guess these murderous riders are going to make it tricky for them to mill out, isn't it? I make it a little tricky. They need, to, like, because they can keep on killing their murderous rider. But at that point, like, how do they win? Wow, they did not activate Garrick first. That's our second opponent in two days that played a Planeswalker and then didn't activate it, and we got to kill it before they activated it. Looks like we may die here. We did draw that Kaya's Wrath, which was good, but we're just drawing lands besides that. <clears throat> and of course, you know, like the Trail of Crumbs has, while it's it's thinning their deck a lot, it, it did, you know, you know, it has given them, you know, like eight, nine, ten cards. So it's so it is hard to compete with that. Why would they even choose Overgrown Tomb? Why they not just put Overgrown Tomb down to the bottom? The Cauldron Familiar is going to kill us before they, they mill out. So like, we have to draw something here. Need to draw spells. Darn. Well, we gave him a good run. We just flooded out. We've cast ten spells. They've cast 10 spells the last two turns. <laughs> oh, game a good run. I guess I guess I need one more Ashiok. Or something. Yeah, might as well activate this, but I don't think there's anything we can find now. Yeah, I'm dead. Dang, we just really flooded out. Trailer Crumbs got us again. So every single game, Trailer Crumbs killed us. Even even after we took out, you know, half of their library, Trailer Crumbs just. Just drew more cards in like three or four turns. It drew more cards than I had the entire game. So we need more ways to kill Trailer Crumbs. One, two. I was thinking I didn't need Cry the Carnarium, but I was wrong. The we need Cry the Carnarium. GG's Odinson. GG's. Ah. Did I just move the the background or is it still in the normal spot? 
I feel like I accidentally moved the background, but I can't tell when I was trying to update the, the score. We don't need three Noxious Grasp. That is unnecessary. We're gonna get a Planar Cleansing in the main. I basically just didn't like these Bell Haunts at all. What do we want instead? Do we just want the fourth Mortify in the main? Probably. So probably take out the Bell Haunts and put in an extra Mortify, a Cry, and a Cleansing. And then an extra Disenchant over here. There we go. Well, that's definitely going to help the matchup quite a bit. Getting two Cry of the Canariums in here, getting an extra Disenchant, getting an extra Mortify. That's definitely going to help this matchup quite a bit. Because you don't really want to have Ashiok be the win condition. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe it's more reliable than the six mana walkers. I mean, if you just get rid of Trailer Crumbs, the six mana walkers will win. But with Trailer Crumbs, it's just too easy for them to find all their Murderous Riders. Okay. So there we go. Um, you know, still, still tuning it. I definitely think there's the potential to have to have this to have that Cauldron Familiar matchup be a good matchup. You know, we win 0-2 against it, but I don't think that that means I don't think it's like unwinnable or anything like that. I think that that Orzov has the tools, but I just didn't, you know, first go at the deck. I didn't have enough, as we saw. Especially, I didn't have enough for uh, Trail of Crumb in particular. This gives me three extra cards to kill Trail of Crumb. With an extra Mortify in the main, a, a Disenchant in the board, and a Planar Cleansing in the main. So I think that's good. <clears throat> Thought Distortions for, like, blue-white control. Or if you play against somebody else just playing, like, a real heavy control deck. Because... The control matchups can be kind of tough because, you know, like you have all these cards, Legion's End, Cry, not Kaya's Wrath. You have a lot of cards that, like, aren't aren't that great in that matchup that you have to sideboard out a lot. But yeah, that's what Thought Distortion's for. Okay, I like the look of the deck now. I like the look of the deck now. Um, still want all these... I know the Disparks didn't look great there, but I still want them because I think it's just too important against Jeskai Fires and, um, and Simic. You know, Simic's a pretty big part of the metagame, too, with the Ambushers and, and Nissas and stuff like that, and I really want to Sparks for Ambushers and Nissas. <clears throat> All right, uh, there's Orzov Control. Um, we just went 1-3, but um, I think there's some good potential here. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck, and, you know, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you're trying the deck out yourself, let me know how it goes. We also ran into a lot of uh, just mana trouble of just, you know, drawing all of our swamps and, and no planes and stuff like that. That was, that was pretty unfortunate. Getting rid of the Basilica Bell Haunts does help that out for us. You know, it gives us less, 
less cards that are double white, but I guess planar cleansing trip, trips white, but that's not till turn six anyway. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, that's Orzhov Control. I thought it was a fun deck to play, and uh, yeah, like I enjoyed it, and and I'm you know I'm looking forward to to trying it again after tuning it here. Um, I was a few cards off though. Yeah, or flooding out and casting ten spells in the game total. Yeah, yep, that, that happened too. Oh well, there's Orzhov Control. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.